I just finished the track preparation on the C8 and by far the most notable thing is the way that the brake pedal feels now. I put Castrol SRF fluid in here and it just feels so much better. Anyways, the brakes are a very small part of the whole track preparation setup, so let's get started and go over what I did to prepare this C8 for the racetrack. So the first thing that you want to do is take a look at Chevy's track preparation guide, and I will put a link in the description to that. But your Z51 should have come with the additional brake cooling ducts. And while the car is up right now, we're going to start with installing these. So you have two pieces per side on the rear, and these need to be removed after every track day and installed prior to every track day. So that is what we're going to do first. They give you a few M5 bolts to bolt on the top piece of the duct, and then they give you some fasteners to bolt on the lower piece. So first we're gonna take our clips and we are going to put them on the top half of the brake duct. This is what one looks like. Then we're gonna repeat for all the other holes. And then finally, after this is done, we'll go and get three of our M5 bolts and we will put the top piece on the control arm. After we secure the top piece with the three M5 bolts, we'll grab our bottom half of the duct, put it into place, and then screw in all of the remaining screws. Then we'll torque those down with our gun, and then we'll move to the other side. This is what the ducts will look like when both sides are completely installed. Let's go up to the front and take a look at the front brake ducts. If we take a look in here, the brake duct is actually right here on the front bumper. So the air passes through there and then comes out right here. And this deflector is the dealer installed brake duct. So that should cool off my brakes. And your Z51 should already have that one installed so we don't have to worry about it. But it is good to check that it's there after those are installed we need to do a couple other things we need to do the alignment and when you work on the c8 you'll notice that the upper control arms are very similar to previous generation corvettes so we pull out those top bolts we remove the washer in order to get the negative camera that we want and then we send it off to the alignment shop expect to pay for a few hours of labor when you're first setting up your c8 suspension if you're going to a real race shop like I did, I ended up paying about $400 for them to set up the suspension. And that was with me removing the washers from the upper control arm myself. So we got the brake ducts, we got the alignment. Now let's talk about fluids. Brake fluid is one thing, transmission fluid is another thing, and the oil is another thing. So the brake fluid that I use is Castrol SRF, and you have to use a pressure bleeder to bleed the C8 brakes. The challenge with the C8 is that you can't suck fluid out of the master cylinder, so you have to push the old fluid through until it's at a low level and try not to introduce air into the system, then put your new fluid in, and then pressure bleed the system. So I did that. The brakes are all set up. The other important thing with the C8 is to add the extra dual clutch transmission fluid. You need to overfill the transmission by two quarts. And so in order to do that, we tilted the C8 on its side and added through the fill port that is accessible through the wheel well. And that is on the other side of the car. Finally, with the oil on the C8, we can use Dexos 2 Zero W40 oil and leave it in the car for the track and the street, which is a very welcome change from Chevy's earlier track cars where they told you to switch the fluid when you go to the racetrack and switch back to a street oil when you put it back on the street. So we can leave the same oil in the car, enjoy it on the track, and then come back on the street and change it when it's ready to be changed instead of switching back between different oils. So I love that about the C8. The final thing that I recommend if you care about the paint on the C8 Corvette is to get the front end protected with paint protection film and get the car ceramic coated. The cost for this C8 was about $5,000 from a reputable shop and it makes the car extremely easy to clean and also protects it from rock damage. That is all I have for you. Thank you for watching and make sure that you enjoy your car.